Birdbreak is a market town in the Upper Franconian district of Bomberg and the seat of the administrative community of Birdbreak. Birdbreak is said to be the eastern gateway to the Steigerwald, where the Middle Era Breach empties into the Raw Breach. It is to be found on Bundestrasse 22 halfway between Bomberg and Abreach. Lusberg, Stegarch, Frensdorf, Palmersfelden, Mulhausen, Schlusselfeld, Bergwinheim, Schönbrunn im Steigerwald and Walsdorf all border on Birchbreak. Birchbreak's main and namesake center is by far the biggest of its ort style with a population of 3,316. The market town furthermore has these outlying centers, each given here with its own population figure. The first known name for the place was Erbs Abrea in 1023. Emperor Heinrich II donated it to the bishopric of Würzburg, which then sold it to the high monastery at Bomberg. Birdbreak was the original parish for more than 40 outlying places. It was granted market rights on August 21, 1472 by Bomberg Bishop Georg von Schomburg. In 1499, on the bishop's demands, three defensive towers had to be built, for which the bishop exempted the market town from taxes. Walls were needless, as the boggy meadows and the abrach's two arms had long been thwarting enemy attacks. Thus Birchbreak was spared the fury of the Hussite and German peasants' wars. Only in 1550 was it beset by the notorious Margrave Albrecht Alcibiades, and on February 16, 1632 in the Thirty Years' War by the Swedes' plundering and pillaging. In 1706, a great deal of money and goods were forced out of the townsfolk by the French. Since the Reich's deputation Schotschluss of 1803, the community has no longer belonged to the high monastery at Bomberg, but rather to Bavaria. Birdbreak once had Jewish inhabitants who had at their disposal a synagogue and a mikveh. The former has been converted into a home, while the latter, a ritual bath, is used nowadays as a garage. The dead were buried in Walsdorf. Within town limits, 4,761 inhabitants were counted in 1970, 5,037 in 1987, 6,212 in 2000 and 6,479 in 2006. In 2007 it was 6,438. From 1990 to 2014, the mayor has been Georg Bogensperger. From 2014 on, the mayor is Johannes Mikhaya Jongsyk. The town council is made up of 20 members, listed here by party or voter community affiliation, and also with the number of seats that each holds, since the 2020 local elections, in 1999. Municipal tax revenue, converted to euros, amounted to €2,610,000 euros of which business taxes amounted to €776,000. There is a partnership arrangement with the community of Copsware in rhineland palatinate The local historical inscription from 1958 describes Hans Leisentritt's last minutes, the sun was climbing on this last day of September in full brightness high above the Jura. Hans Leisentritt did not see it, nor did he see the blue sky as he faltered through the north gate. Before the martyr at the brook he knelt down. And the sentence was read out once again. Crucified Lord Jesus Christ, have pity with me. In holy mercifulness the Lord on the cross looked upon the poor sinner. A picture of misery of a man stumbled in fetters on towards the gallows. Nobody ran up to cut the ropes off from him so that he could run back into the market town. Flee into the church and thereby be saved. None wanted to help him. Thus, he staggered on, up to the gallows. There, the hangman carried out his duty. The Gothic martyr bears on its octagonal shaft the year 1522 and on the lantern 1512. The lantern itself is adorned on both front and back by a crucifixion scene, and on the edges are found Emperor Heinrich and Empress Kunigunda. On the octagonal shaft, on the side towards the road, when the light is just right, the outlines of a human figure can be made out. At this wayside shrine, it is believed that Martin Luther preached on his way to Heidelberg, leading some to believe that the shape that could be seen on the shaft was Martin Luther's. Thereby also leading others to batter the image with stones into unrecognizability. Whatever the truth is about this story, it cannot be confirmed that Martin Luther ever came to Birchbreak. On June 8, 1968, Alfred Seale noted this 220 cm tall memorial with its 60 cm wide lantern in his description of field memorials in the city and district of Bomberg. In 1976, Hans Luther strengthened and restored the memorial and the municipality laid a sandstone plaque at the foot of the shrine bearing both names. The inscription ran. 1811 points to a renovation. The last restoration, in the 20th century, was financed by the Heimatwehr in Birchbreak. Two legends, although neither one's provenance can be confirmed, are connected with this place, when the newly chosen Bomberg Bishop. 
Coming from Wurzburg reached here on February 1, 1203, a delegation from Bomberg was already waiting to greet the new landlord. Ursula von Windeck was driving to Burge Break for church services on Trinity Sunday with a team of horses. As the coach coming from the castle turned into the main road, the firecrackers were set off in Burge Break, the horses shied. Ursula sent an ejaculatory prayer to the Holy Trinity and the approaching misfortune was averted. Ursula thereupon endowed a wayside shrine. In the front relief described as a representation of the Trinity, one does not see the usual representation of an at once glorious and dolorous Trinity, but rather God the Father gazes out from the clouds with outstretched arms. The dove, symbol of the Holy Ghost, sweeps across the middle of the relief over the Christ child, who is being led by Mary and Joseph. Burge Break is a subcenter and has its own hospital, the Steigerwald Clinic. Moreover, there are many retail businesses in Burge Break. The firm Ideal Automotive and the Musique House Thoman with worldwide online mail ordering further enhance the economy. Through Burge Break run Stadtstrasse 2262 and Bundesstrasse 22. The town may be reached by Autobahn through the Schlusselfeld or Palmersfeld and interchange on the A3. Thanks for watching.